What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there, it's Philip 20 and I'm, I'm back. Check us out. I got a new car project for you guys. It's pretty cool. I've got some capacitors coming up in the mail. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing with them here today. Check it out. So this is a project car that I put together quite some time ago. It's been, you know, around here. I've had it for about seven years now. Uh, basically, I've done a lot of different things with this car. I've built, a, you know, two different sets of headers for this. I've put in three different type of intercoolers on this type of car. Uh, you know, actually this specific car. So I've had three different intercoolers on this one. I finally finished out with a water-cooled intercooler. Uh, I can't remember the name of this brand. But I had to uh, custom weld all these, the aluminum and everything to fit this specific car. I custom welded the headers onto this. Everything's been custom welded pretty much by me. I fit everything up, welded everything up, and it's all done, finished and running. And uh, the biggest problem I have with this car is I don't drive it a lot. Uh, the problem why I don't drive it a lot is, uh, you know, for one, insurance is really high on this car. Uh, second, um, the battery tends to not stay charged when I don't drive it for long periods of time because you know I got you know a family, so I have to have something that's bigger. So I drive my truck around because it's it's you know crew cab. But you know in general. I really enjoyed driving this car. Right, I raced cars back when I was younger, and I had a lot of fun with it. As you can see right here, we got stainless steel uh, headers. We got you know aluminum intercooler. Our turbochargers right here. It's huge, big, big turbocharger. But you know, needless to say, I'm having trouble with this, and it's because of the battery. I keep on having to replace the battery pretty much every couple of years because I just cannot keep the battery in good condition because I don't drive it a whole lot so if I can't drive it you know three or four times a month the battery's probably not going to last very long so that puts me in a position of it's time to do something about it I'm going to put in right over here if I can fit it a super capacitor right now I've got a small battery with another capacitor right here and uh, then I got a battery in the trunk I had to put, you know, storage, you know, electrical storage in the front because whenever the uh, spark plugs would energize, it would take power away from the battery pack in the back and uh, the voltage would drop and the FIC controller, if you don't know what that is, is a fuel ignition controller. This has got an FIC 8. I've programmed and tuned it myself. Uh, basically what happens is it changes everything so it starts doing crazy stuff. It go up and down, up and down whenever you put into the boost. But whenever I put a capacitor up front, just, just a 500 microfarad capacitor and then a 12 volt battery, just a, you know, AGM battery. And then I put an AGM battery in the trunk too, a large one, a uh, Mercedes Benz one, and it didn't, it, it couldn't handle it. Uh, for, unfortunately, what had happened is my brake light switch got uh, triggered on for at least a year and a half and that killed that battery and the battery in the trunk so they're both pretty much totally 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 gone not recoverable and that's going to put me in a position where i'm tired of buying batteries so i reached out to another youtuber that builds super capacitor battery packs and he's shipping me over some battery uh super capacitors and uh you know it's, it's a really cool deal I'm super excited. I'm hoping that I can fit them all right there into that area where my other capacitor and battery is at. And then what I'll do is I'll just take the battery in the trunk out and I don't know, maybe I'll put a stereo amplifier back there or something. I got power wire back there, so I can do it if I wanted to, I suppose. It wouldn't hurt nothing, but I'm going to run a a cable all the way to the starter straight from the uh, super battery capacitor pack and then I'm going to run that my other cable from over here which has got a fuse link 
and then I'll show some of the project going on if you guys want to see it give me a thumbs up give me a like if you like it if you don't like it it's fine too but it's a pretty cool project so I'm pretty excited if you guys got any questions on what is going on here let me know this is Philip 20 with solar power electricity and electronics now I'm gonna holler at y'all later peace Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.